guys, I'm going to review two products that were from the Dollar Tree. Now, these are name brand products. This one, I believe, is from John Freeman, the one that does facial masks and stuff like that. And then this one here is, um, I know it's like from a rock, rock, um, it says Rockaholic or whatever. Yeah, um, hair care line or whatever. But anyway, this is like a, a texturizing spray. They have this at the, they used to have this at the Dollar Tree. And, um, I don't know. I don't know if they sold it because it wasn't like working or they were trying to get rid of them. I have no idea. I never seen them anymore, but um, I bought one of these texturizing like a sea salt spray. Um, when I use this, it's just t it just feels like you're spraying water on your hair. I don't see no texture, no waves, no nothing. Like you can make your own spray or buy a different brand or whatever, but I do not recommend this. It doesn't have really a smell. It's okay. Like this is like you're spraying a little bit of water with some stuff in the hair, but it doesn't really do anything. So I'm just going to use it up since I bought it. And this costs way more, um, I guess, when it used to be good at the stores. So I have no idea. Then this John Freeman, it's a can aerosol, if you can see right here, the nozzle. It's a spray conditioner. So I'm not 100% sure how to use this correctly, but I sprayed all over my hair as like a, you know, after I put in my leave-in conditioner. So it's just a spray conditioner. It has a very light, plain, like kind of like an unscented smell. It doesn't smell like perfume or anything like that. It's it's okay. It does leave a little bit of a residue, a little bit on the hair, but it's okay. Like for me, it's all right. So I don't really see any difference with this or anything. Your hair is moisturized. Um, like I said, I have never seen this in stores before, except at the Dollar Tree. Um, and John Freeman's a really good brand when it comes to facial mask. I have a lot of his stuff as it is, but um, I, like I said, I never seen the spray can of the conditioner spray, so that's all right. They had these at the Dollar Tree, so I have no idea. But I just wanted to review those two products in case y'all were interested. And you saw them at Dollar Tree. Um, I know this costs way more in the stores if they did sell it in stores, and then this one definitely. I know these used to run like seven to ten dollars for this brand. They used to sell them at Target, and you could find them at different places, but. They're probably like different scents, different types of hair products, different quality. I don't know, but the only thing they had at the Dollar Tree was this texturizing spray. And it's a nice big black sleek bottle. You know, and I spray it and whatever, but it's like if you're just spraying water. It doesn't really have a smell. It's really light. I don't know. I just don't notice any difference, but I'm the type I don't like to waste anything. So I will use it up, you know, just, just to use it. But this one's almost gone. It's like half half full. But it's okay. So I just wanted to review these two products in case you saw them at the Dollar Tree and you were thinking about getting them. I have no idea. But anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching this quick Dollar Tree review of products. And I will talk to you later. I'm going to be doing more videos soon. Other stores, other places, better places. Um, I might go back to my paranormal stuff. Um, later on, I'll be doing way more better stuff. But it may be my cooking in the future again. But I'm going to be doing my spirit box sessions again. I'm going to be doing crime novel discussions again. A whole bunch of stuff. So if you like those type of videos, stay tuned. And like I said, I will talk to you later. Bye.